What's up, y'all? Back with video number two for the day. Welcome to the True Kings Media. Like and subscribe. This is my NXT Vengeance Day review. It's going to be kind of quick, not going to be that long, but let's just start off with the Big Bang. Melo Betray Trick. Seen this coming for weeks and weeks. The acting was very much horrible. I hate to say, you know, it wasn't that damn good. Um, but I saw it coming. I'm pretty sure most of you guys saw it coming. How they tried to play it off with um, Lexus King and um, Dragon Off to make it seem like they have something to do with it. But I kind of knew that they're gonna play the Trick was jealous. I mean, I'm sorry, Camilla was jealous of Trick because uh, he just, you know, just kind of rised up. But in my opinion. Trick is an okay wrestler. Um, a little rusty around the corners. Uh, he makes a lot of mistakes, as you can see. Uh, it gets caught on camera a lot. But he could brush it up, so I could kind of see why they didn't give him the title. But his theme music alone just... <clears throat> well, that trick makes you like the guy, regardless. His music makes you like him, whether he's a good wrestler, bad wrestler, or okay wrestler. That's just the bottom line. His theme music makes him the top star of NXT. <laughs> But um, anyways, yeah, I saw it coming. Um, the match was pretty good. And I know I'm starting from the main event to the end, but hey, that's really the only thing that was worth talking about is this match. But it started off pretty good. Um, they were going back and forth, fighting and things like that. Trick came out uh, pretty strong, you know, beating the hell out of Dragon off a little bit, bleeding already from the mouth from their match earlier, which I'll get to that. But overall, the main event was decent. Uh, it was a good fight overall, but just a lot of mistakes uh, in that match. A little bit of sloppy, and like I said, the acting was a little bit horrible. But it is what it is. I mean, they're not going for Oscars, of course. You feel me? But Dragunov got the win. Um, but the point of it was the referee. You know, it's always these referee spots that pisses me off. Like, they get hit, and they're just dead. You know, like one little... Boop. And the referee's just like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Even when the superstars, it's like, you know, like, they are not refs. And, like, they get a little slapped on the ground like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so hurt. But then go do a match and for 20 minutes and just take all those bumps. But one punch when you're not in the match, you're absolutely hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. But that's just wrestling. You know what I'm saying? The entertainment part of it. But, um, yeah, Melo, uh, I'm sorry, Trick had it. Won at one point, but he went to go, uh, you know, they went out the ring and fought. Uh, Melo tried to hit Dragon off a little bit. Dragon off ducked, and he pushed Melo. Melo hit his uh, Trick's leg when he was on the stairway, but it just it just looked bad. It looked like it was just playing because he, he missed the punch. He got pushed, and he just looked at him like, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you don't, you don't fall this way, you know what I'm saying, like you're, mm. <laughs> it just, like I said, it could look, look more accidental, took it up to the big bang at the end, but it didn't, of course, but anyways, that happened, and then they got back in the ring, um, Trick ended up hitting the referee, and then he fell, and uh, what do you call it, Mellow fell again, and then Trick hit them with the super knee, and got like damn near a 20 count, referee took forever to come out, he kicked out, of course, and then... They got back to this point to where they done like a both charge to each other. And, of course, Dragon off hit the tornado, whatever you want to call it, and won the match. And which led up to Melo like, oh, Trick, you're going to be so great. You're going to be, uh, you know, you're almost there. And then right when he's going off there, he goes behind him and gives that look like. <laughs> and then he hits him in the leg again. Beats his ass with the chair. Leg on leg on leg. He blamed the fans. Fans start cussing, talking about fuck you, Trick, and I mean, fuck you, Mello, all this shit. And he's like, y'all made me do this. Y'all made me do this because I'm the greatest. And then he walks off and, you know, Trick was all ho, 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 crying and shit, you know. But like I said, we all saw this coming, which is going to set up a match for them, I think, is it NXT TakeOver around WrestleMania. And then I'm pretty sure after that, either Trick or Mello's going to the main roster after that match. Um... Braun Baker, Breaker, and um, Baron Corn started off the show with Trick and Mello, with Mello taking a spear for Trick, so uh, which caused him to lose the match. You know the match was pretty decent as well, but pretty fast. But he took a spear, so you know, it, like I said, it was an up and down story. But he took that spear, which led to um, them winning the Dusty Cup, the Dirty Dogs, whatever the hell they want to call their damn so the Wolf Pack, whatever. But they won that cup. Um, Pretty decent match. Uh, like I said, NXT, man, I don't really... I watch it on and off, but I don't know everybody, you know what I'm saying? But 
Some of the people are pretty decent, but that match was pretty good. And I think Braun Breaker's going to get caught up to Raw anyways after this. Uh, I can't see him sticking around anymore because he did so good at the Royal Rumble. Then they had, um, I think, Out the Mud face the uh, family. Tony Dantano. Um, <laughs> Dantano. <laughs> see, guys, I'm messing up these names, but whatever. Tony, his uh, friend, fought, fought Out of the Mud with Reggie. I know Reggie from the Camilla things, but those guys are pretty decent. Pretty, it was an okay match uh, with the, with the girls too involved. Um, I don't know Parker, that chick, she's a uh, caliente, you know. But uh, the other chick was okay. They, like I said, it was a decent match. Um, all of them ended up losing to the family, of course. You know, they're not gonna let the tag team champions lose. Uh, really, nobody lost their damn belts tonight. But you know, to get on to the story. But they lost, and then you had um. Dragon Lee versus Omasis, motherfucking brother, cousin, whoever the fuck this big ass Thanos looking fucking Ant Man, what's that guy's name? Um, Kane looking ass guy beat the shit out of Dragon Lee with all those flying. This guy's like fucking the Hulk, and you're trying to jump off the ropes, and he's just slapping them down, throwing them all over the goddamn ring and shit. It, it, it. <sighs> I just, I don't know. That match was, uh, I don't even know the guy's name. I think it's Ubaka or some shit. I don't know, Mufasa or some shit like that. But anyways, he retained the title that he took from Dragon Lee. And I didn't even know this guy only had five fucking matches and he won the belt. So that goes to show that from his, you know, stance and shit that he's going to get pushed. You know, like not too many stars um, get pushed like that. But the guy's actually a pretty good wrestler. Like you can tell he started the craft when he doesn't look as sloppy as Omos in the big show at sometimes. But again, he retained the North American title. Then after that, you have Roxanne Perez, uh, Leah, whatever, Valkyrie, and some other girl named Lola Bunny <laughs> who, uh, for a uh, NXT title match, which started off with just Roxanne Perez, who never lost the belt in the first place against Valkyrie. They had a decent match back and forth. Uh, Valkyrie was getting the best of her, but then Roxanne hit her with the, uh, the Roxanne Nader, whatever the hell you want to call that. Now, all of a sudden, here comes Lola Bunny, which I don't even know this fucking chick. Like I said, guys, you got to forgive me on the NXT names. But anyway, she came out and she tried to um, cash in her breakout Money in the Bank thing and um, made a triple threat match, uh, which ended up causing Roxanne Perez a match because they made it a triple threat. So it took, for, took it from being one-on-one -on -one from DQ to triple threat with no rules and let the other uh, fan who of uh, Valkyrie, some crazy girl who's playing the role of um, Mickey James and Trish Stratus, basically back in the day, if y'all don't remember that, how Mickey James was obsessed with Trish Stratus. So this girl is playing that role. And so she ended up tackling out Roxanne Perez, which caused uh, Valkyrie to hit her finisher on Lola Bunny for the win. So like I said, that match was decent. It was okay, but eh, it wasn't my cup of tea, but you know, it got us through the night. And then you had the, uh, what was pretty much next? I think I'm kind of skipping some shit. Um, that match. Yeah, and I think that was pretty much all of the damn matches. Am I missing something? No. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's pretty. Oh, yes. Uh, T-Bar, Dijak, and the guy from Schism, uh, jo Joey Gracie. He had his match, uh, which was, it was pretty good. A little street fight. He ended up getting his ass with the course, but... T Bar's got that got that look, man. Look like he can be a, a Brad Shaw knockoff, but I think he's got it, you know. Um, if he keeps getting pushed like he is. But other than that, it was a lackluster show. It was okay, up and down. Um really wasn't nothing that I could just go into depths about because it was an okay show. Just alright. Out of if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it like a five out of ten. Uh but with the whole Camillo thing, like I said, that you know, that was the big bang and the big knife in the back. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it. We saw it coming, like I said. Uh, Melo and Trick, they're going to fight at take, take over, I'm pretty sure. And then they're going to get called up. But who knows where it's going to go. And plus, like I said, they got to work on their acting and their talking. Because Trick is, Trick is like, oh, Olioff, please, I am, don't miss. And Trick is always like, side out, look at mine. I'm going to come through and I'm going to win with that trick. You know, <laughs> you know, so I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're just funny when they're on camera to me. But that's pretty much it. Um, I hope uh, Trick does get another shot at the belt. Because uh, the fans were behind him, you know. But they were absolutely disappointed. Nobody was really che che cheering for Dragonoff at fucking all. Uh, 
he didn't get a pop at all. He was just like, uh, but you know, like I said, WWE notices shit like that and just don't give a fuck about what we think. Again, you know what I'm saying? The guys who are over, by the time they want to put them over, their fucking hot streak has went down. And I hope that doesn't happen to Trick Williams because I can see him trying to improve and get better. But like I said, it's WWE guys. You know, they don't really give a damn who's hot and who's not. It's about who the fuck they want. You know what I'm saying? And they're, they'll keep burying motherfuckers and burying motherfuckers. And you know, I got a story I want to do on Jay. Uh, anyways, uh, Uso, because the fucking hot street he was on to him just going down, 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 taking all these pinfalls, losing every week on Raw to not even having fucking matches on Raw till last week. He missed like three weeks and then he finally fought Bron- uh, Bronson Reed and won that match. But it's like, again, they have so many stars, I don't know what to do with them. But Jay was on the rise, and I feel like he's taking too many fucking falls and bumps in the road when he should be a top star as well. But that's for another video. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Go watch the NXT Vengeance Day on Peacock if you got it, you know, on your pee or your cock or whatever. Watch it. Stream it. Talk about it. Like I said, I'll tell you about it. You really ain't got to watch it for waste your time. But it wasn't really all that. Just the big bang was the stab in the back from Milo, TMG. Trick Mellow Gang. But anyways, I'll highlight y'all in the next videos. Stay cool, stay warm. Like and subscribe if you want to. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna kiss your ass too. But anyways, deuces, ooses.